other hotel. You stay next to that park. One of your guys is gonna get robbed for sure. One in five. One of your guys is gonna get disrespected. It's gonna happen. This is a crackhead park. Hey, No, this guy I know down there, he's like, why are you stay there? I go, I always stay there, it's alright. Hey, okay, what? It's not alright. It's fucking horrible. Hotel? Ladies and gentlemen, hi, it's Roddy. Welcome to Tour Talk, season two, episode number three. Thank you for being here so much. Guess where we are, you guys? Chicago! We are pl playing the appropriately titled uh, venue concert series, Riot Fest, people. Figure that one out. Uh, we had a bit of a rough show. No, it was a great show. But the problem seemed to... We had a time constraint tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It was a little bit fucked up. A little bit short. But truth be known, guys, what's the verdict on the short set? Woo! It was short. It was succinct. It was to the point, And we fucking nailed it. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, my special guest for the evening is someone that's been lurking in the background, in the shadows, if you will. He's what we like to call our manager. His name, ladies and gentlemen, the illustrious Mr. Tim Moss. Tim, hello. Really? Yes. Really? Hi. How are you? Are you? Tim, how's it going? It's going pretty good. How was today for you? Uh, today was good for me. Be real. Not be too, real. Not too bad for me. I was at the hotel working most of the day. Uh -huh. uh, Anka's the one that dealt most everything down here. She does most of the hard work. The big issue seemed to be today the mud. There was an awful lot of mud at Riot Fest, people. There was some rain in Chicago, and we all had, well, we didn't have to deal with it, but the crew, and, well, not Tim so much, but other people really had to deal yeah, with it. Yeah, most of the crew. I felt like today was a lot of mud, a lot of dirt. It was like an English festival. So, yeah. So our crew was, you know, they're all happy. They're dealing with an English festival. It felt very, it felt very English to me, too. Yeah. Tim, tell us about your band. What band are you in? Uh, I'm playing a noise rock band called Porn. Uh-huh. Uh, who else is in that band? Uh, right now, Billy's in the band. Billy's still in the band? Well, yeah, it's Billy, basically me and whoever I play with. So Were you the just last time we did a tour was Billy and then a guy named Balash Pandey, a drummer from uh, Budapest, and then uh, Thurston Moore for a few shows. Thurston just played a couple shows? Yeah, just a couple shows. So there were two guitars on a couple shows? Yeah, two couple yeah. So you never wanted any keyboards in your band? Sure, why not? In porn? Sure, why not? Well, I was kind of waiting. I never heard yeah. any invitation or anything like that. I well, mean, I was a little bit... I'm just going to say I was a little bit jealous. Billy got to go out on tour with Moss and Roddy was not invited. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, well, there's a reason for that. <laughs> Why? What would the reason be? <laughs> Tell me this on that line of thinking. Who's your favorite member of Faith No More? Who's my favorite member? Yeah. <laughs> you. <laughs> Who's your least favorite member? Patton. <laughs> What do you think? Yeah, I go with that. Uh, you know. uh, where are we going tomorrow, Tim? Tomorrow we're going to Costa Rica. Yeah, we are. How many yeah. days off do we have? Two days off in Costa Rica. Um, you guys, me and Billy and Michael Brandon, our sound man, who's been on Tour Talk, I think he was uh, episode three of season one. Brandon was episode, who's the on last time? Last night? Yeah, last night's Tour Talk. Uh, Nico. Wrong with him. Three nights ago, he was stoned out of his mind. God, because we were in Denver, ladies and gentlemen, and pot in Denver is legal. Apparently. <laughs> I think he keistered something. He might have. I think he did. He got very he adept. Get it out of there. Pot you know, he had to fly it over to Chicago here, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Tim, thanks for talking to us. Man, yeah, good talk to you, Roddy. Okay. Bye. He didn't know that was coming, so it was a little bit awkward for him. Oh, yeah. I forgot. You, ladies and gentlemen, this is how I'm going to um, position the camera now, because oh, I think God. I look a little bit better oh, with a little distance like this. This is really, this is, um, this is how, as real as it gets. This is our backstage today, you guys. I'm going to just take you outside and show you a little bit what's going on. John, how are you feeling back there? It's surreal. John's had a, a bit of a cold. This is real, motherfucker. He's, uh, yuck. Let me just say, I don't want that cold. I'm stepping out. And this is our outside. This is where we are. There's a security guard over there. I'd go and talk to him, but I don't know. It seems like a little mixed bag of a, could be anything out there. You guys, thanks so much for sticking around. Hey, the next tour talk is coming to you internationally. I believe 
uh, we haven't uh, entered the international realm yet of Tour Talk. So this will be fun. Tour Talk goes abroad. <laughs> I don't know, South America abroad. We're going to South America. So our next Tour Talk is not going to be for, I think, four days. I'm going to be coming to you from um, Costa Rica, San Jose in Costa Rica. So, uh, see you guys then. Thanks a lot for um, being here. Just a side note, I was really hoping to score Gwen Stefani tonight. She's on stage right now and I kind of figured if anyone, like no doubt, would maybe be fans of the band and it would be like a score. And then I had sort of an um, idea that I was going to hook Gwen and Mike up. I'll let you know how that goes down. Um, see you in Costa Rica, you guys. Thanks a lot for sticking around. Signing out.